Hey, hi friends, this is Bakapa. In the last tutorial of Easy Repro Automation Framework series, we have discussed uh, how to create the record and how to search the record. And also we have discussed how to delete the record. The topic for the today's session is, the first topic is uh, we will discuss how to switch between the tabs. And the second topic is how to work with the subgrades. And the third topic is how to work with the quick create from sorry quick create forms so now i will navigate to the crm application so we will discuss about the ui scenario firstly then we will jump into the visual studio and we will start automating the scenario so i will log in into this crm application i will go to the accounts entity then i will click on, click on this new button then here i will enter the sum entry details then we will click on the save so this will save the record after saving the record so if you look at here we have currently two tabs displayed that first one is summary and second one is details so what if i have to navigate to the different tabs so we have to click on the related then we can go to go to the different tabs as well or different entities from this particular accounts entity so what we will do in our case after saving the record we will click on this related after that we will go to the contacts then again after selecting the contacts so again there is a subgrid displayed and it is having all the different buttons for this particular subgrid so what we will do next we will click on the new contact again in the subgrid we will perform the action so this is nothing but the subgrid and after clicking on the subgrid button that is a new contact so there is an pop up opened that's a new form open that is a quick create form and here we will enter something in this last name field so because this is a mandatory field here we can input something then we can click on the save and close after saving and closing it so that record will be displayed in the subgrid guys so this is an end to end flow what we are going to automate it so now i will go go to the visual, visual studio id now I will open the easy repro tutorial class. I'll go down. I will copy this last method, test method. I will rename this uh, test method name to the easy repro test 5. And this test is belong to the testers talk group. So already we have a code which will create the record and which will search for the same record and so we want till the creation of the record and uh, after creation of the record what we have to do so we have to click on the related then we have to select the contacts right so we have to basically select the different tab here right so firstly we have to click on the related so to click on the related so till this it is very simple guys it is very easy easy to understand this particular lines of code it will log in into the application then it goes to the accounts entity then it clicks on the new then it will enter some account name then it will save the record so till this you are familiar with and now i have to click on the related then we have to select the contacts from the related right so in the easy repro automation framework we have a command called xrm dot grid dot select uh, sorry guys so in the xrm app so we have the entity then dot select tab so here you need to pass the pass the name of the tab so if tab name is visible directly like this summary or details you can pass it directly and if your tab name is inside this related so you need to pass the firstly related then the tab name so let's do that so firstly we have to navigate to the related then after that we have to navigate to the contacts right so once you click on this related contacts is visible so that's the reason i'm passing the contacts so that's it 
So this line will navigate to the contacts entity. So after navigating to the contacts entity, so there is a button display that's a new contact what we have to click on. This is the subgrid guys. So that's the reason what we have to do is, so we have to use the XRM app object dot, so related grid, because we are performing action on the grid items, related grid dot. So here there's a method called click. So under this, you need to specify the visible text. In our case, new contact. So simply I can pass the new contact here. That's it. After clicking on the new contact, so new form is displayed. That's a quick, uh, quick create form is displayed. So under quick create form, so we have to identify this last name field. So what I will do now, I will right click on this and I will say inspect. So I will go a bit up. If you see here, so this particular element is getting highlighted. From here you need to copy this particular value that's the last name from this view tag. So till this it goes to the contacts from the related then it will, it will click on the new contact. After clicking on the new contact there is a quick create form is displayed. For that reason to dealing with the quick create form you need to use the XRM object dot. So here you need to call the quick create class then after that you need to as is well, how you are setting the value for the text field. So similar method you can call here as well. So here you need to pass the field, then the value. So I will pass simply testers talk as a value. That's it. In the same form, in the quick create form itself, we have to click on the save and close. So for that reason, whenever we are in the simple entity, so we are using XRM entity dot save method so similarly we are in the quick create form so that's the reason you need to use quick create for form class xrm app dot so that's a class called quick create then here you can call the method name as save so this will save the record so that's it so hardly we have written four lines of code guys here so this will selects the different tab and it will clicks on the subgrid button then it goes to the quick create form then there we are entering some data here and then finally we are saving it so after that what i will do simply i will reduce this think time now to the four seconds so that's it let me delete all this stuff which is not needed so let's execute this script now So now browser got launched. We have logged in into the application now. Now it will select the CRM application. So now it is navigated to the accounts entity then it is finding the new button so it is clicked on the new button now it is entering the account name then it is saving the record after saving the record it has to go to the related then it is selected the contacts then it is clicked on the new contact and it is entering the last name tester stock 
and it is saving and closing the record. So that's it, guys. So you can. Uh, this is working fine if you if we go to the this explorer and it, this test is getting passed. So this is how you can work with the basically switching between the different tabs and working with the subgrid subgrid buttons and also in the subgrid also there are multiple buttons and that related also there will be some of the buttons of the entities which will be available for each of the entities. So and uh, this is how you can work with the even create a uh, quick create forms as well. So basically the normal normally so when you're performing action in the entity so you will be using the XRM app dot entity and followed by the whatever the methods but when we are, you are dealing with the quick create forms so you need to use the XRM app dot quick create and followed by any of the methods based on the need you can use it. So same you can try at your end same scenarios and also you can try to uh, perform different uh, cases as well. So if you, are, if you are having any issues or the questions, you can comment in the comment section and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.